Funeral services will be held tomorrow for Shauna Gardner Carson. Police have charged her husband with stabbing her to death last weekend at her home on Grantwood Avenue. It is the second such case in Cleveland in the past three weeks. And as News Channel 5's Deborah Lee tells us, they are especially troubling to one local woman. This Cleveland garage where police are alleging an abusive husband killed his wife sends a chill through Laura Cowan. It was a eerie feeling to see that. Mm -hmm. It really was, and I can just think of it myself being there instead of her. Laura's ex-husband once locked her and her children in a garage, similar to the one where Tanya Hunter died three weeks ago. They were tortured for nearly six months. We were surely, we were surely going to die. I knew this, Deborah. We were. Like all relationships, Laura's was happy in the beginning. She thought she'd found someone special, and then everything changed. He threatened to kill me, the children, and he threatened us. He, he said he, was always, he would always find us, no matter what happened, no matter where we go. Even even when he went to jail, he would get out and find us. And that just scares you to death. Laura's son is shining now. She escaped from her prison, but her heart grieves for all the women who didn't survive. Her best advice, leave home for a while, even with a restraining order. I believe if those women, Tanya, even Shauna now, Gardner, had maybe removed themselves for a little while, went to a relative's home, even put, they could have went to a domestic violence center and got help. Uh, just to be away for a while until those pe their, their partner was picked up. They would have been alive today, Deborah. In Cleveland, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5. Laura works with the Domestic Violence Center of Greater Cleveland. Their helpline is open 24 hours a day at 216-391-HELP.